Guess whose Wii Remote is still functioning after all these episodes? That's right, I am tessellating hexagons. Hello, let's break this music box. Because it belongs to a bitch. Am I, am I being too harsh on Elizabeth because she is a bitch and she has no redeeming features up to this point and I'm not going to just give her pity, you know. I, I, I refuse to invite myself to this pity party. Because it's my party and I'll cry if I want to. Cry if I want to. I don't remember the rest of that song offhand. Now lift that arse lid. Snap it off! Throw it against- That's a shame because it's a really pretty box. It's probably playing a really pretty tune as well that I can't hear. So I'm going to talk over it so you can't hear it either. It's a pretty thing, and I wouldn't want it to come to any harm. I just had to say it, didn't I? What I mean is, it's really pretty, and I wouldn't want to hurt it just to hurt someone else indirectly. Even if the someone else who who is being hurt indirectly deserves to be hurt. But that thing is so pretty, I don't want it to come to any harm just so I can make a statement. San Marino, with your Eurovision reputation. Now, do we have some huge plot arc about fixing it, or is there just one puzzle, and there's a spit that I slot back into place and everything else is fine? Turn it over and look on the other side. I Yeah, I didn't actually tell you to put it in there, so I was actually asking you to do that. I was telling her to flip it over, just, just the second that the Wii Remote was on screen, it just jumped into the hole. Tee hee. Peely peely. Peely peely. Peely 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 peely. Peely peely poo! See, how can you peel something away like that and not have a load of it still stuck to the, the cover slip? Because it would just... The whole thing would just tear off and the message would be completely lost. That's... Stickers... They're not that... This game is so unrealistic, oh my god. Speaking of people who talk like sorority girls... And I, I only picked up that expression because I'd forgotten. That's how I was described in... A video. I kept going on about this collab video that I did with a bigger YouTuber earlier in the year. And that's finally been released! I was on Who Wants To Be A Gillionaire! And as of when this video goes up, that was released yesterday. Um, I'm only in it for like five minutes because, like, the, the previous contestant was, like, his run lasted for 15 minutes, and, and each episode is 20 minutes long, so I'm introducing the first five minutes, and then next week on the Thursday the 17th, I think it should be, because today's the 10th, I think? In the next episode, as of when this is recorded, that'll be the episode that's just full of me from beginning to end. And I won't spoil how well I do, but I I was at a game show with a comparatively bigger YouTuber, and ah, uh, I, I feel so flattered that I was allowed to participate. And supposedly there's going to be like a, a series finale thing or something later in the year, where every contestant is invited back, and every contestant answers the same set of questions, and it's a special edition, and oh, I look forward to that, I, I will... I will study so... I thought, I thought you called her a selfish piss, and you'd be absolutely right to do so, and wow! That is a very angry face. And then she fell asleep when... Oh, it's Mr. Potato Head. No, you don't. I, I, I'm just a random burglar just chilling in your house. So, yeah, I'm only indirectly related... I'm indirectly related to Elizabeth by way of her cousin, and that's it. Oh, look, he's got a beard. I remember him swagwaying down the path back in 1990-whatever. Wow. It just hit me. This game predated the whole swagway, quote-unquote, hoverboard thing. I refuse to call them. I, I agree with Smosh on the front that they don't hover, so they're not hoverboards. Don't call them that because they're not, but swagway is such a stupid name as well. They're just little roly foot things. I don't know what else to call them. So is he nice? Because he is very suit. He's got a lot of suit going on. Well, you didn't even... This is the first time you realized... Did you... How did it... What? You would have thought you'd find out a bit sooner that she got here okay. And it's just... You didn't meet her on arrival, you didn't get a call or a text from Elizabeth saying, Yo, 
My cousin arrived, so expect her in the his house. Literally. And it seems that he's... He's having the same sorts of trouble as Dr. Robbins in that he's constantly going back to the lab. How can you lock yourself in a... in? Well, I know you can lock yourself in a room, but just... How can you lock yourself in a bedroom? Bedroom doors don't have locks. Even in this spoiled child's house, it's just not right. Bathrooms have locks and front doors and back doors and doors that connect to the outside or to significantly different clauses of house. That what? I I'm thinking in terms of grammar to describe a house. Welcome to Tess. Why? Why does everyone do the full name? Ashley is fine by itself. Uh, the writers of this game are like equal parts brilliant and shit. <laughs> really, I never would have guessed, considering that you're the father of Elizabeth, and you live in the Alfred residence, and your name is Rex, I never would have guessed that you're Rex Alfred. Wow. She is your guest, how- Wait, like, she's a guest too, but Janet is your guest, you can't have her running chores either, that's- a bit fucking rude. I mean, I, I know I know she's a family member, but still. Kind of rude. She's a guest, too. I, I do have a bit of a history with that sort of, um... That sort of behavior, where you have a guest, but they, they don't rank highly enough in your guesstimation, as it were. So you have them do menial chores, and... I... Yeah, I have a bit of a story behind that, but I'd rather not share it. Now, has, has she seen the note yet? Because I feel like I should have read that note out loud because I don't know if Ashley's on-screen text acknowledged it, but... Wow. Bitch. I, Rex even seems like a relatively nice guy as well. Oh, it's fine. You're... you're your your daughter is Elizabeth. You your your family is literally non-stop drama. She deserves a slap in the face with a rotten haddock. By the way, this is a thing that's been a thing in my head for a while. Well, okay, that's maybe bad choice words, but the word migraine, right? So I can never remember. Is that a really bad headache, a type of fish, or both? Because I I know it's at least one of those two things. I'm sure you do, because you work for the same company and stuff. Well, go on then, lay your green text all over my aching body. What? What, so... Is Dr. Robbins older, then? Because Rex seems like he would be older. But of course we know about Michael Jackson's Labrador. Because Sayoko, she was a person that did stuff. Oh, giddy, goody, gumdrops. I, I wanted to, I wanted to say, E, C, that must stand for electroplankton. Because plankton begins with the letter C. Hey, it tangentially concerns me because it was Ashley's mother that worked on it and she gave up on it because Ashley was born so kindly. Decorate my face with your e semen. Ew! What the fuck, brain? Why do I? S Sometimes I just say words. I, I just turn off my brain and just let the words come out. And only too late do I realize what the fuck am I on about? Wow. Okay. Fucking rude. You do not get to talk to Ashley as if she's your daughter. How... Uh, does, clearly... Clearly this chap has hosting issues. Because you don't fucking talk to people like that unless you... Unless they're your own child. Uh, uh, Ashley is maybe the, the friend of a child. And the child of a friend. That's what I meant to say, but the reverse is also true. But you'd have to get to know her a bit better before you can start talking down to her like that. Holy shit. Like... You're mostly an alright guy, but making your guests do your chores, and then talking shit to said guests. I... I mean, Elizabeth is still much worse, but, I mean... 
fucking baguette full of titties. That's what you are. It seems like the sort of place that would have under... I was going to say under seat flooring, under floor heating. Oh, you have one of those living room kitchen things. This is not a dining room in the slightest. And for a moment, I nearly misread that as Janet, Elizabeth's dead, and then and then they all lived happily ever after. By the way, just before I started recording this, I heard the revamped version of the Spanish Eurovision song. I don't like how they took out the Spanish lyrics because they worked well. Other, apart from that, though, it's it's pretty solid. Still not worth all the hype it's been getting, but still good. Oh. God, Ashley. <laughs> On a scale of changing the voting system to having Serhat write your Eurovision song, how bad is your idea? I, I was too busy being sassy. I didn't actually read the first block of this set of text. So, um, what are we doing? Oh, so we're going to... We're going to seduce hairy sands and person pants? Purse Pyrus? Per person? <laughs> there we go. We've got Harry Sands and Per person. That's what I'm going to call them. In fact, I might end up replacing their theme music with Bone Trousel just for one cutscene, just to prove the point. And, hmm. I like how her way of indicating which one is to Im imitate the instrument, but. Hmm. Well. Harry Sands sees her as like a little sister, and so he's probably and and he knows us better. Whereas, per person is just kind of a guy. We don't know him all that well, so he probably won't open up to us as much. So I'm gonna go with Harry Sands. Yeah, Cause oh yeah, and also, she has a lady boner for him, so she's gonna well she's gonna open up in more than one way actually. So oh yeah. Fun times. Although there are two of us, so why don't we ask both of them? Oh no, no, she, she's hotter than fire. No water can cool her down. Down, the down, down, the down, down. Wait, did are we gonna have to go and check on her because I was too busy again? I was too busy being sassy to actually pay attention to what I'm supposed to do. Hello, hello, open door. Cleverly positioned so that I can't not see it as soon as I leave the room. What the fuck is your bedroom doing on the ground floor? And what the fuck are you doing in the bedroom that's erroneously on the ground floor? Bitch dongle. Oh, maybe she saw the note. Maybe she's going to be nice for once. I doubt it, and she doesn't deserve it, but... Go on, have your moment. Moment all over us, because we will resist your moment. We will resist honk. Womp. That, that, by the way, is an in-joke that literally no one apart from one person will get apart from me. But I do that a lot, so don't worry about it. Ick fucking excuse me. Ick fucking excuse me. Our mother died when we were three, and our father is kind of a little bit of a mm. So, how about you shut your entitled fuck before I slap you with my hibiscus boob? Now go on, spread your legs and queef out your information. Okay, that is kind of dickish, but then again... You act like an ass parcel to everyone you meet! Do you really think you deserve that kind of... I, I know it directly impacts your day-to-day -day life, but even still, you are an ass. It's not, doesn't feel nice, does it, being treated like shit by other people, does it? <laughs> Oh no, you, you very much do. Oh, Ashley, don't try to sympathise with her, she's not worth it. Huh. Now, she, she said chest, and I just kind of noticed that, of the two, Ashley is better boobed, and... I don't... I, I'm not immature enough to think, maybe that's why Elizabeth is an asshole, but... I don't think like that. So I don't know if anyone else would. I, I, 
I get that there's a page on TV Tropes for A Cup Angst, but I don't think this qualifies because... This is a game that's marketed at, like... Mystery people and middle-aged women, so they wouldn't put that kind of drama in there. <sighs> Are you quite done being a female fuckboy? Where are you even going? The, the door is the other way. Oh right, you're looking for shit, aren't you? Go on, you'll find a bunch of letters from your mother. Oh, just just, just let us... Let us try and open it, or... Oh no, you, you could just break the whole thing, that works too. Let me guess, a load of undelivered letters from your mother. Did I call it? Sounds like I called it. Yeah, that's... Even if it's just one... What? Ashley, what the fuck do you think? Load of undelivered letters from her supposedly estranged mother. Probably one of them saying, Why do you never write back? It's because I didn't know you were right backable. Are you going to get a flashback from seeing her being a spoilt little bitch with her... Oh, there you go. Princess the dog is her dog. And wow! Okay. I'm not going to say anything, but, I mean, it's obvious what the most striking thing about this picture is, apart from Princess. You're not going to have a, a flashback from that, are you? You're going to have a flashback from this instead, because everything is flashbackable. Okay, now that just looks like it's a euphemism for something. You know, two guys presenting their, um catches to the camera. <sighs> I, again, no comment. And, oh, we've, we've pieced together some memories. So, that bracelet we found in the... the lakeside cafecy poo. That's that's Rex Alfred's bracelet. Boat house, that's the word. That's this bracelet. Ah, the pieces are all fitting together with the arse in the bucket. Bucket full of arse. So there you go. That really camp hand belongs to Rex Alfred! Yay! Huh. He's grown a beard since then. <laughs> yeah, because 13 years isn't enough time to grow facial hair. It's, it's so unbelievable. I would say where'd people get the idea of fishing from in the first place, but, um... People used to have to do it to survive. Whereas, you know, I'm sure I'm sure there are some communities where that is still required to live. So I don't know. Why would you Why would you write who it's from there? That's that's a weird thing to do. But I'm guessing that that, that Kate Alfred nay something else is probably her mother. Just a thought. And uh, she's probably. She probably didn't notice the thing that we found in her music box until now, and then she's going to look at it, and then she's going to have some sort of huge breakdown, and we can laugh at her tears because she is a cock monkey. But not in the slutty sense. It's all tied up in her personality. <sighs> it's so refreshing to see the game acknowledge the fact that this is the first floor and not the second. Bite me, America. You're not in here? Well, did you at least see- you didn't even see the note. Okay. <laughs> did you climb into the music box? Are you hiding in the wardrobe? Okay. Maybe not then. Is she under the bed? Uh, I, I don't remember where she is. Maybe she's hiding in the toilet. The toilet. The toilet. The toilet. It's not forced, I swear. Actually, they don't have a bathroom! This just hit me. Was there a bathroom in, in the... in Dr. Robbins' cottage, either? I don't... oh wait, yeah, there was. There was one in, in the ground floor. That's where What's-His-Face was. That's where Matthew hid. So... Rex has all these nice things. But no bathroom. Janet, please tell me she's having a breakdown so I can laugh at her. Who, me? Did I throw too much shade? 
did I win? No, but seriously, this wasn't us. I don't want to cause trouble where it's not due, that's where Elizabeth keeps fucking up. She found her father's dildo collection. Brain. Why do you keep doing this? Let me guess, plot twist, Kate is her mother. And they were never delivered. Oh, there we go. Is that the end of this chapter then? No, it won't be because we won't be going we won't be going in this chapter for about half an hour between last episode and this episode. Oh right, <laughs> what are we supposed to give to her? But of course the, the things that we found. Oh, we only have to hand one to her. But we should keep the idea well, I, I was I, the brain. I I would say we should keep the ID card so that we can get into various places, but we have the tasks, so that's really not an issue. Do you seriously not? Do you really think I did this? Good grief. Well, we have places to be and less bitchy houses to occupy. But it's not the house's fault. You know what I mean. So what now? I feel like we're probably going to get like a, a text message from Dr. Robbins or something. So I'm, I'm preemptively holding the Wii Remote close to the microphone. Or we could just be told to check on Matt. That works too. Why Why am I not talking? I'm not, I'm not going to cut this out. It's literally just a, a ten second walk down the road, if that. But let me guess, he's run off now as well. Is it really that hard to just hide in the bathroom? Or he could be upstairs again, hiding under the bed. Being a butt scrundle, I don't know. Are you in here? Are you sitting on the bookshelf being a book? Are you hacking into the computer? Well, this happened. Does that mean he's been abducted then? Where is he? What is this? Am I supposed to notice this? Ah. See, that's... No 13-year-old can write that neatly. Apart from the ones who are, like, really obsessive about it, and... But where the fuck do you think? It's a picture of you in front of the boathouse. Where the fuck do you think he's gone? But, like... No normal 13-year-old with normal parents would have... Like, like, I'm not trying to... You know what, I'll, I'll, I'll just stop. What I'm trying to say is, the average 13-year-old would not have handwriting that neat. Just gonna stand there for a minute, Ashley? Just standing there waiting for someone to catch up with you? Bob! Why are you waving at him? He's right in front of you, you can stop now. Yeah, he's good at that. Well... What? How could she have ordered food that and have it delivered that quickly? See, now I, I kind of want to have some sort of... takeaway thing, but it's... It, it's 5 to 11 at night, and I just had soup anyway, because... I don't know, t today was more of a eating light day, because I... I didn't really... I don't know, I just didn't really feel like eating today. But it's whatever. I probably would get takeaways more often if I if I knew there were, if I knew if I knew there were some good places like within walking distance, because there's an adequate Burger King in town, but like it's it's like a a 30, 40 minute round trip to walk all the way there and back, so no thanks. I don't know. I, I'd like to think there's probably like a, a good fish and chip shop near here. But, um. Oh, yeah. It, talking about the rice bag. I'm getting so distracted by pondering the existence of local fish and chip shops, but I don't think. I don't think there are any, and I'm also really picky when it comes to fish and chips as well, because I mentioned in some other video, I think it was part of this series, that cod is the only acceptable fish and chip fish, and tuna is the only acceptable sandwich fish. Why? Fucking stalk her ass with your nose. But yeah, a lot of places use haddock instead of cod, and that, like, they claim that it tastes the same, but for, I had a bad experience with haddock once, and so no thank you. 
What? Are you trying to imply that I might be friends with a Vandal, but the Vandal is distinctly older than 13? I don't know why that's the first thing that I... Oh... I don't know why I managed to extrapolate so much irrelevant information from that, but yeah, marketing, that's a thing that they, like, the way they teach it at university here, it's that they teach it in really no shit kind of ways, like, oh, in order to market things successfully, you need to pay attention to who likes this, you don't fucking say, if I'm making a game for Teenage boys. Clearly, I'm going to have to include things that appeal to teenage boys. It, am I? Am I the only person who thinks the shit they teach at university is just badly taught shit that's common fucking sense? Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just that far ahead of the curve. But you'd need you need to franchise out properly because you can't you can't just have someone order it online. See, that's useful, but you'd still need to franchise it, because, I mean, if, if you have someone ordering in, like, Hawaii or Florida, if we're just sticking to the United States, that is, and if you have three orders, like, one from Hawaii, one from Florida, one from Alaska, and this is... which state is this again? I, I feel like it's somewhere... It's it's either Oregon or somewhere in the East Coast. I, I don't know, every, everywhere is set in Oregon. The Simpsons is Oregon, Gravity Falls is Oregon. I, I think this is, like, this is near enough to New York that they can travel there, but I don't know what American views on traveling domestic, like, domestic holidays are, because Americans never leave their country, and it's weird. Even Canadians go abroad on holiday, holy shit. And I have no further rants to give him. That reminds me. There's a, a kind of beef jerky that is or was available in the US that's, um... It, it, it's got some kind of ingredient. I don't know if it's, like, injected or if it's marinated or something. It, it includes some ingredient that's either... It's either coffee or some... Or the same stuff that's in energy drinks or something. So the, the point is, it's like energy drink beef jerky. And they call it perky jerky, and that sounds like something very different. And I'm just not paying any attention to the game, because I'm just too busy thinking about logistics, and marketing, and food, and the toilet. Except I'm not, because... memes. Oh yeah, that was a topic of conversation, someone wants to buy the diner. Is it me? See, now why did I see that coming? He would have no vested interest in buying a diner. So... What? <laughs> Is it going to turn it into a lab? <laughs> oh. Oh, that makes sense. But then again, there's like six cottages here. So they're going to need a lot more than just that one plot of land. Plus, they're going to need a fucking diner. If you're going to have a load of people live here, where the fuck are they going to get their food from? They live... This is like an isolated little town. They'd have to go really far out of the way to get food from places. And wow, I didn't realise people outside the UK used the term old biddy as a derogative to refer to elderly people, especially women. So there we go, we've discovered that Charlotte is the woman with the really cool theme song that we haven't heard yet. And j just saying, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna highlight exactly where because I don't remember if we have seen it, but I think, I think we've heard that name somewhere before but not in the context you might initially think because default assumption. By the way, that tree that's just next to his right shoulder, so on the like, on the right hand side of the split down the middle of the screen, it kind of looks like it transitions across the split but there's actually two separate trees. Like I would point at the screen with a pointer but it's not appearing right now so I'll just highlight in post. Like that there, those leaves aren't part of that tree but it, it tiles together seamlessly and that impresses me. Oh yeah, we were looking for Matt, weren't we? I got so wrapped up in your marketing and your logistics and... Oh, Princess, she's still a thing because we discovered that Princess was Elizabeth's dog, but I don't think Ashley consolidated it in her mind space in this episode. Okay, so are you going to have some sort of 
internal monologue. Or oh, princess, hello princess, woofity woofity woo. Should I go and... Should I go and look for... I said, I'll... Unless this is part of another cutscene, I may save that for the next episode. Hello princess, you are a dog. Are we going to have a, a ten minute cutscene talking to you? Okay, well, I've been given control of the game again, so... I have been and will continue to be tessellating hexagons, and in the next episode we will do dog things. And then look look for Matt, perhaps, and other things will happen. See you then, have a nice life.